Uh, okay, wait, is this bags? Bin bags. Oh, I can use it to... There we go, I can put them in here. Right? I can clean up the food with the bags, and then I gotta get rid of the food. Us must be weeks old, wish I knew where they got it from, though. They are big wasters, Mommy. I ate all my dinners. You did, Barney. You're a good boy. Jesus, look at this stuff. Mommy, well, do you think bad men are coming back? They might do, sweetheart. They might do. What? We need to be careful. Keep the doors locked. Stick together. You remember what I've always told you about talking to strangers, Barney. Just say no, then run very far. Good boy. If you hear anyone or see anyone, you make sure to tell me. I don't want the bad men to come back. This is Mommy and Barney's house now. That's right, sweetheart. If they do come back, we'll let them know. Right then, let's clean up this stinky mess. Oh, wow. So I, that was it. That worked. There, much better. Don't you think, Barney? I've just dumped the bin bags around the side for now. I'll deal with them properly tomorrow. Honestly, I'd have just buried them in the snow. Uh, radio. Oh, a note. That's cool. I don't know. Just right? Doesn't this seem like burying them in the snow? I mean, that's the best way to get rid of them. Alright, let's see what this says. Hmm? Uh, this appears to be weight, ages, and, okay, so it was someone, female, Caucasian, female, Caucasian, female, Caucasian, female, oh, male, Asian, okay, so there was an Asian male, um, there was, the male cocaine. So, what, what is this AFAM? What the heck is that? Oh, African American. Okay. AFAM. Wow, those people are really skinny. Oh, uh, you know, well, I guess they would be skinny. You know, it's probably a lot, a lot of food to go down. Alright, cool. Uh... Oh, cool. Ooh, close. So actually could be a load of different clothes, male, female, old, young, weird. Weird, at least we can use this for bedding later. Something sticking out of the pocket here. Let me take a look. Another note, my goodness. Honorable discharge. This is to certify that Malcolm York Mosley has been honorably discharged from the armed forces of blank. Gun rack, there's nothing in here. Well, there's nothing in the gun rack, really. Hey Barney, come look at this. I think it might be a toy chest. Yes. Because tons of people keep a gun rack right above their toy chest. I swear if there's toys in there. What's in there? Well, I don't know. It's not open yet. Let's open it. It's a magical toy chest. You have to say the magic words. Do you remember the magic words, sweetheart? Open sesame. Oh, it's locked. I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's okay, mommy. Can we unlock it? We can certainly try. Oh, the key. Oh, and you know what? Because the gun was found with... The other thing you can safely assume. Good job. I mean, also you could safely assume it because, well, what do you know? The key fits the lock to this toy chest perfectly. Yay! Let's look at the toys, mommy. Hold on, a sweetheart. Let me check. If there's anything inappropriate in here. What's inappropriate? Inappropriate things that wouldn't be right for you to play with, like dollies. <laughs> no, not quite. More like broken glass and things you can play with dolls if you'd like, Barney. Mommy, boys can't play with dollies. Who told you that, sweetie? Clifford told me once. Clifford, who's he? My friend from before, Mommy, from home. Oh, yes, of course, the Peterson's boy. Well, Clifford is a big silly. You can tell him he's wrong next time you see him. Clifford went off to the snow with his mommy and daddy. Oh, so he did. Well, you can play with whatever toys you want anyway. Hey, there's a toy robot. Look, Barney, would you like to keep this? Yay, thank you, Mommy. There's a little keepsake box in here, too. Why is there a toy chest next to a gun rack? Folded drawing tucked away and a key ring with a bunch of keys. Wonder why they've hidden them so well. Huh. Okay. Well, that's nice. Beautiful drawing. Set of keys, I found the keepsakes, but they're obviously well hidden. They look to fit the same kind of lock. Alright, so let's check in here then. Surely one of these has to fit. There we go. 
Oh, oh god. Why do I have a feeling that... Oh my god, I want to have a look. I just want to... I'll promise you we'll be the first to know. Sorry, I, I got a little distracted with this upgrading. Well, okay. <clears throat> well, here goes. Oh, god. What is it, mommy? What is it? Just a, just a second, sweetheart. Y you just stay there. Well, I guess, I guess you, oh, shoot, gosh, dang it. Mummy, it's a treasure. I'm afraid not, Barney. It's just a bathroom. I need a wee. You'll have to wait here a minute. I'm afraid that, I'm afraid, sweetheart, it's a bit filthy in there. I'll clean up for you once, uh, once we've settled. Really? No treasure? Really, really, I promise. Okay, so I should probably go put the barricade on the door. Right, let's get this door boarded up. There we go. Pretty tight fit. At least if someone tries to break or force their way in, we'll have fair warning. The door looks silly now. It does, doesn't it? Like It's like a castle. This is our castle now, Barney. Ca Yo, castles are scary, mommy. They are a bit, yes. Right, let's see if we can make up a bed. Your yawning's making me sleepy, too. Can we have some dinner? Sure, how does sweet corn sound? Sounds great, mummy. Good boy, how about we eat it in bed? Like a midnight feast? Just like that, Barney. And I'm a guess that's the end of the... Oh, mummy? Guess, sweetheart? What's up the stairs? I don't know, honey. Maybe tomorrow we can try and find out. Mummy? Yeah? It's warm in here, isn't it? My fingers aren't tingly anymore. That's good, baby. You did well this morning. You're very brave. Mummy? Yes, Barney? I love you, Mommy. I love you too, Barney. Let's try and get some sleep now. It's been a tiring day. And I'm going to assume that's the end of the act. Five days since Ellis's arrival. Boom, boom. Four, bathroom break. Huh. No, you're right. It is silly now I think about it. Totally. I could sharpen the end of this brush right now and use it as a weapon. Should I be scared? Well, that depends. How much do you trust me? I think I trust you a fair amount. Plus, you don't have anything to sharpen it with. <laughs> That's true. I guess we'll have to wait until they provide us with our own DIY, DIY equipment or home surgery kits. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm actually quite looking forward to doing some cleaning in a way. A normal activity for once. You know what? Me too. And I hate cleaning. I always used to put it off. It's been a while though, right? Yeah, definitely. Not right this minute. <laughs> it's nice to smile and laugh a bit, you know. Yeah, it is. You're right. You know what? What? I was just about to ask you if you fancy doing anything today, huh? I have no idea. My mind laughs for a minute, I suppose. It happens, but no, I don't think we'll manage to go out for a day trip or anything like that. That's okay, huh? Letting me down gently? Well, it's best to get out I've ever been able to use, I'll tell you that much. So you doing anything tonight? Why, yes, actually. I'm going to spend my evening locked up in prison. Sorry. <laughs> it beats I'm washing my hair. Yeah, which reminds me, they never did fix the hot water. No, they didn't. Anyway, maybe we can do an IOU. Maybe we can do an IOU, do something when we get out. Maybe, yeah, if we get out. I have to admit, Alice, I do find you quite fascinating. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Sorry, that sounded a bit weird, but yeah, take it as a compliment. I will, thanks, I think. Bro, you are killing it right now. But, um, how do you mean? I don't know, I get the impression of someone who's lived an interesting life, even before the snowfall. What gives you that impression? I'm not sure. Oh. Wow, this game really rose together. I was hoping to sort of hit a, what's it called part? Uh, what's ambitions? I don't know. Do you ever think about the future? Well, I've got a while to think about it. Not a lot now, haven't I? I've got a while to think about, not a lot now, haven't I? Oh, okay. Don't say that. Why not? It's true. You don't have to give up on your ambitions, on the not on the account of this place. Richard, I'm going to be here a while. I'm just about coming to terms with that now. But you will get out. Hell, maybe they'll come to their senses there. You should never give up on your dreams. You sound like some sort of motivational lecture for kids. Sorry, it's just sad to see people give up. 
Oh, I'm not giving up. I used to think about the future a lot. I'm sure I will again eventually. This is still a lot to take in, though, you know? I think it'll take some time to start thinking straight again. That's fair enough. Go on, though. What are your dreams? What are your ambitions? Oh, Richard, really? Are we having this conversation? Yeah, why? What's wrong with it? Nothing. It's just... I don't know. I guess I'm not in the mood. Uh, I guess I'll let it go. Fair enough. Sorry. Me too. It's, it's hard to explain. Another dark secret, huh? Not really. Well, kind of. It's more that I'm finding the future kind of scary right now, and even the little ambitions I might have had, well... Let's try to, let's say I'm trying to let them go a little bit. I'm not sure I could face them anymore. <sighs> I suppose I understand. What about you? What are your ambitions? Well, I suppose that's the thing. I never really had any. You must have. Not really. I just, I don't know. To raise a family? To look after people? To help people? To do what I thought was right at all times? And you did it, right? Yeah, it seems like a long time ago now, though. Time to get thinking about your next dream to hit then, right? You're suddenly optimistic. Yeah, it's a bit easier when it's someone else. <laughs> so what is it? What, you've given me like 10 seconds to decide my entire future? All right, you have some reprieve, but know this, next time we're back staring at each other across the corridor, you better have answers. I think I wanna be an astronaut or a fireman. <laughs> you sound like Barney. Oh, okay, uh, I guess might as well. I suppose I often wonder about people's younger years, the events and situations that make them who, the, who you are. Go on then, you first. Oh, there's not much to tell from me. I had a pretty average upbringing. Is there an average upbringing, really? I think so. Both my parents were around. I wasn't really bullied at any point. I suppose I was quite a shy child. So it turns you into the hardened army man that stands before me today. <laughs> I don't know, really. I suppose I was bored. My confidence grew. I wanted to do more things, see more sights. It sounds silly, but I guess it seemed like the natural option eventually. Hmm, fair enough. Hmm? No, nothing. Just thinking. Go on, then. How about you? My childhood or my chosen career? Childhood. Well, both. I, I don't even think I know what your career is or was or... Uh, it's okay. I didn't really have one, if I'm honest. I had Barney when I was young. I was a student definitely wasn't planned fortunately we managed to get by for a time anyway Barney's dad uh, he he had a bit of money my childhood though it was it was okay you sound unsure yeah I, I guess I am I'm still trying to figure it out myself figure myself out to be honest I wasn't exactly the most popular girl in school then again I was okay with that I've always quite liked being the outsider I've got that impression too over the last few days really in what way I don't know, just something about you, I suppose. Fair enough. And I guess the other thing was that I was quite a sickly child. That's no good. No, it's not nice to be in and out of the hospital during the years you're supposed to be learning about becoming a real human being. <laughs> wow, real human being, that's a little rough. Playing out with friends, discovering your sexuality, whatever, all these things kind of took a back seat for me until I was a little bit older. Do you mind my asking what was wrong with you? They never did work it out. They thought it was something psychological, an anxiety problem, or something I can't say I've ever convinced by the diagnosis. At school, I used to feel ill every day, like I was going to pass out or something, and no one could work out what was going on. No one could make me better. It was again difficult to deal with at that age. Yeah, it was, I remember. I remember just wanting, just not wanting to be around if no one could fix me. Wow, sorry, that's a bit heavy. No, don't worry about it. I'm sorry for prying. Kind of used to that by now. <laughs> joking, Richard. You really need to get better at knowing I'm joking with you. It's nice of you to take an interest, really. How are you feeling, anyway? I'm fine, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I think the medication is actually working. I'm hot, though. Are you warm? I am quite warm, actually, yes. I wonder if the guard tweaked the ECU earlier. Did you notice? No, sorry. I guess we should submit a support ticket. Oh, Richard, you and your tickets. What? You and your tickets, you spent all that energy typing that one the other day about the shower temperature. Did anyone read it? How am I supposed to know? Well, when the guard next came, did he mention it? No, but 
And have they actually fixed it? Does my hair look washed to you? No, but well then. Then you'll have to stay warm. Nah, what? Turn the temperature down. How? I don't know, use your creativity. You managed to get that photo over the cell the other day, didn't you? But Alice, the guards will be monitoring us. We can't just, oh yes, because they really laid down the law after the last stunt. Passing a photo across the hall is one thing, but tampering with the ECU? Oh no, tampering with the ECU, Alice. Surely a guy in prison for a dereliction of duty isn't afraid to break a few rules. Alice, that's not fair. I, oh, poor Ickle Richie. Poor Ickle Richie. What the frick, Ickle? Poor Ickle Richie will. Fine, I'll, fine, I'll have a think. Ah, you really do bring out the worst in me, you know. Guilty as charged. Talk to you in a bit, Alice. Yeah, speak soon. They are totally flirting. They are all o all over each other. I'm gonna save this. Uh, sure. I'll just save over the autosave. Anyway. Okay. That is it for this recording session. I have been recording for about an hour straight, and my voice is shot from all this talking and reading, and then having to commentate in between. But this is an interesting game, and so far, no too hard of puzzles, which is nice. I think this game is going to focus on the story and the interaction between the two characters. So that's always a plus. I always get worried in some games when they try to, um, games that are heavily story based, sometimes they try a little too hard to be like, oh, we have gameplay too. And I think sometimes they don't realize you don't need a ton of gameplay or a ton of complex gameplay to accompany a great story. Sometimes you just need some simplistic elements. And so I think this is doing a pretty good job so far. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time for more Ultima Plays, Richard and Alice.